today I'm going to show you how to turn any photo into a pencil drawn on Affinity Photo on the iPad. This is a fun technique. Try it yourself. You can do it with people, you can do it with animals, locations. It works in all subject matters. So let's get into it. Here we are back inside Affinity Photo for the iPad and I have simply found a photo of the Eiffel Tower from Unsplash.com. There's a link in the description where you can find this photo so feel free to download it and follow along if you wish. So the first thing I want to do is crop this image down a wee bit. Uh, the main focus is the Eiffel Tower and I just feel there's too much greenery, too much of the tree up here. Although it does look, it does look quite nice but for the purposes of this tutorial we're going to focus on the Eiffel Tower. Tar. So I'm just going to click the crop tool and just bring it down. And I also think it looks a wee bit tilted, the Eiffel Tower. So by clicking or tapping one finger, we'll maybe just straighten it up a wee bit. And by straightening it up or by rotating the image, you can see we're losing some, uh, some of the picture here. So we'll just simply crop this in and up here and I think that doesn't look too bad I'll maybe make it more centered so I'm happy with that crop so it just hit apply and there we have it and that's looking quite well for this effect the first thing we need to do is to duplicate the layer so if we go into layer studio there's only one layer at the minute if we tap on the picture and hit duplicate we now have two layers with the same thing on it. We're going to invert the top layer and to do that we're going to go into the adjustment studio. The adjustment studio is on the right hand side, the three wee dots and we're just going to scroll down to invert. Here it is here and again there is a tutorial dedicated to adjustments and how to use adjustment layers. I'll link that at the end of this video. So if we just click invert, boom, everything's been inverted and it looks not great, let's face it, but uh, this is how we start to get our effect. We'll go back into the studio, layer studio. We'll click on this invert adjustment layer and bring it into this layer, into the middle of it. And that means that adjustment layer is just affecting this layer here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on these three wee dots. We're going to go into the blend mode and we're going to go down to color dodge. And you can do that by just clicking on it and scrolling the color dodge or by going side to side. But for the purposes of this tutorial, it's easier just to go to color dodge by clicking on it and then go back into the layer studio. And you're going, Andrew, this here is not what we signed up for. What's going on? And it's an odd way to get to the final product here or the final technique, but it works and it's, it's, it's mad how it does work. Now we'll go into filters. Filters is on the right hand side. And again, the wee preview show on blank for everything. Just to save us a wee bit of time, we'll go to this here wee menu. We'll click right and it comes up blurs and we're just looking for Gaussian blur. And it's probably hard to pick it up at the minute, but if I bring the radius up, you can now start to see, and if I zoom in, it's quite a cool technique and you can go to 100%. And it nearly looks at the minute a wee bit of a kind of colouring in pencil, but we're looking for a black and white pencil. And I'm going to I'm going to bring it down to maybe. Maybe 50 pixels and that's looking grand. And we're just going to hit apply. Always remember to hit apply. It's easy sometimes when you're working on things not to apply it, but we hit apply. Then what we want to do is go into the Adjustment Studio and down to HSL and it stands for Hue, Saturation and Lightness. If we come down to Range and just click Range, we want to bring the saturation down to minus 100 and simply by removing the saturation, that's just removing the colour. We're going to bring it up and it kind of makes it uh, pop and go a wee bit uh, neon looking, but we want to take away all the colour and just be left with this pencil effect. And that is looking really, really nice. I'm really happy with that. There's a few things I might change. If you zoom in, I don't know if you can see it in YouTube too well, but some of the clouds have actually just come through just a wee bit. So what I would probably do is at the very top, go back in the layer studio, make a new pixel layer. 
So we've got a new layer, totally blank with nothing on it. We'll go into the paintbrush. We'll change the color to white. Let's see the width. Make the width de decent. Maybe make the hardness 50%. And I'll just color in. And again, I don't know how much of this YouTube will pick up or not. It could look very, it could look like I'm doing nothing. But there is, there's just a hint of some of these clouds. And I just want to take that, that hint of the clouds out because... Again, two fingers to move around the canvas. It just... I just want it to look like uh, a pencil drawn. And very quickly, it was only a little bit. And that's looking really nice. You go one step further. If you wanted the lines a bit more defined, we could go into the Adjustment Studio again. We could go up to the top or near the top. Where we have curves, we'll hit a curves layer, or add a curves layer, sorry, by going into our wee graph, if we bring it down, we can kind of thicken the lines by just bringing this, this down, and make it stand out a wee bit more, I'm maybe just going to bring it down ever so slightly, and I think that looks really, really nice. It's an odd technique, the different things you have to do to get to here but it's a really impressive technique and it's it's very easy and it's quite quick to do you can do it with people you can do it with landscapes there's many uses for this technique and it's really nice it's a bit different and it's quite easy to do so there you have it hopefully you enjoyed this video hopefully you learned something try this effect out for yourself as it is a lot of fun try it in different situations and let me know in the comments below how you get on please give this video a like please subscribe as that would mean a lot and as always Thanks for watching, hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.